How's it going guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle and today we're going to be talking about eyes without a face. Um, as you can see by my surroundings I am still on the road. Bit of a trip, um, all in all, uh, getting some work done, you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, eyes without a face or in French, Le you sans visage. I, my French is a little rusty. I hope I got that close. Anyway, it's from the year 1960, directed by Georges Franju. French last names, there's a bunch of them. Based on the novel by Jean Ridon, and stars Elizabeth Scobb as Christine, and Pierre Brazou as Dr. Genesier. Hope I got most of those at least close to correct. Anyway, Eyes Without a Face, black and white film, 1960, classic, classic air. Um, so this film, it takes place uh, in France, and it's about this doctor who before the start of the movie, had unfortunately driven quite like a madman and got in his car in a wreck and his daughter Christine was in the back of the car and unfortunately when the car was in a wreck she suffered major injuries to her face with the exception of her eyes, hence the title Eyes Without a Face. So she's all messed up and the doctor says, look, I'm a good doctor and a good scientist. I'm going to see if I can do something to fix your face. So he does a bunch of experiments and he's finally ready for human trial. And that's where the, and that's where the movie begins. The, uh, the doctor kidnaps a lady and attempts to give his daughter a new face. Um, so this is a very early example of gore in a movie. Now, it's primarily limited to just one scene. There might be a little bit in other places, but it's primarily uh, one very gory for the time scene, but then the rest is ideas, you know. the You don't see some of it but you know that this has happened or could happen and you get this strange feeling so it's an early example a little bit later you'd have Herschel Gordon Lewis doing gore in more of a exploitative drive-in theater type style uh, this is an early example of that and you know why you may not be a big fan of gore um, it is uh, big in the special effects realm, you know, what people learn doing things like this would help out special effects for later, and I do want to say it's primarily just one scene, um, and it's done for the purpose of the story, uh, not just here's gore, um, but I do want to say you get a good contrast, you get a sleek, crisp, black and white style, I watched this uh, on the Criterion Collection Blu-ray, it's actually kind of hard to find outside of that, so thank you, Criterion. Um, and it's a great transfer, and you, it's really crisp and cool looking. And plus, it takes place in France, and old-timey France, really nice and elegant. So you get a lot of nice stuff, contrast with all the dark stuff that's going on. It really is a great uh, feel for the film, and also uh, the daughter Christine. She, you know, even though she's not necessarily on film for most of the time, she's kind of the one you follow. She's trapped there with her father. She wants a new face, but she she can't really get behind what he's doing, and you get to see her in despair. And she's a good example of a movie where the scary character isn't really the monster. In fact, she's probably the closest thing to a protagonist this film has. 
you get a lot of the doctor and him being a bad guy and you know some of these cops but um, yeah you really get to see the suffering of this girl she wears a mask to hide her burned face and it's a plain white featureless mask I think John Carpenter said uh, when he did Halloween he was really glad that the Halloween mask that Michael Myers wears kind of mirrors the daughter's mask in this movie plain white featureless face really creepy but she's a victim and not the villain and it's really cool to see her story in this movie um but other than that really cool elegant way this movie is put together and you know I, I've been getting into to more older films lately and um they're not all as easy to find um I recently was able to pick up a copy of Village of the Damned uh, but a lot of times I, I haven't seen that in stores you know and I want to say thank you to Criterion for re-releasing this there's so many good classic horror films that I don't know if it's a rights issue or what uh, but you actually can't find them as easy as you should be able to uh, but Criterion, Universal re-released all their films onto Blu-ray and I'm really glad that older films are being given uh, another chance so uh, thank you all for if you are the ones you know releasing these Criterion uh, to some uh, well more 80s stuff but Arrow, Vinegar Syndrome, Screen Factory um, but it's good to see kind of a a renaissance and releasing these movies but anyway eyes without a face if you can check it out I think it actually might be on Hulu I don't personally have Hulu but I think I heard someone say that anyway I definitely recommend this one have a good day